Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my June empties. Let's get into it. <laughs> one two three four four categories for my empties this month and I'm going to go ahead and start with my food category and into my coffee so this month I've definitely held back from Starbucks but I've gotten back into the nitro but I've only visited Starbucks very few I wanted to mention that I finished this Starbucks French roast notes of dark caramel and sweet smoke and this is one of my favorites i made a cold brew out of a gallon glass jar and it's just i'm not getting to the consistency or to the nice bold richness i gotta keep practicing and testing but we're on the way there you know sometimes you gotta fail and learn and see what you gotta do but um that's been the cool, the cool switch up. I've been just leaving a coffee shop, making sure I get my coffee at home. And I've tried this brand's. This is the Califa Farms. I hope I'm saying that right. They are both unsweetened. The red one's the medium roast, and the green one is unsweetened black, black coffee. These ones are okay. I like the Stoke brand better. This one I was not crazy about. I didn't mind this one. So just wanted to mention that in case you guys were confused or wondering what was good. But um, yeah, on the go coffee. I like the Stoke brands. I've also finished the Carbonell Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Since I'm on Ideal Protein, I need two teaspoons of olive oil a day. And I finally finished one liter. Is that what you were? Two liters. And moving on to more food this month along with coffee, doing it at home. Um, when summer rolls around, I really like iced tea and I've been making myself some nice green tea but having it iced. I had, this one's the Tazo Regenerative Green Tea. It is invigorate with green tea, bright lemongrass, and crisp spearmint. This one's very decadent and nice. I highly recommend. I finished another Egg Life egg white wrap. These are really lovely. Lately what I've been doing since it's so hot, I'm not really wanting to eat much. I just really wanna eat watermelon and I can't. So I've picked these, got spring mix and baby spinach and when I do my two teaspoons of olive oil with salt, I then wrap it up into a nice wrap and munch down like a little dinosaur. It's so cute. I really like these wraps. They're really, really great for the goal of your losing weight. I finished another six counts of assorted pe bell peppers. I really like how quick and easy these are and it just gives you some extra water and nutrition and help with your teeth because you're munching. I finished two Olivia's baby spinach. These were going with my chocolate protein shake. The last food item we finished is the Great Value Black Ground Pepper. I love pepper, I put it on everything, got it from my Pepe. Anything spicy, yes please. Let's move into the household category. I finished a one of my favorites, the Lysol Advanced Cleaning Disinfecting Wipes. I love the part of the fly ladies cleaning system what i like to do with my lysol wipes is after i've done the dishes and i've shined my sink i go ahead and wipe down my counters and i utilize the lysol wipe to do the wipe down it takes care of the disinfecting once you're a mama for kind of a couple of years and you've gone through some stomach bugs you kind of just learn you gotta get on your a game with the things in the house that are bringing in the germs so it's just one of those things i like to do i finished two bed sprays this was the first one in the mid month the pumpkin spice things up limited edition by glade this one was very nice but I'm not too crazy about, you know, like actual aerosol, but I'm not quite sure about these. Like these are like a pump spray. But this one is the Febreze Air Mist Holy Berry Hula. This one's very nice smelling. I like to reward myself when I make my bed. 
we have to do these bundane things throughout the day and this Aries fire sign gets so impatient with mundane shit. So I have to keep things sprightly and keep the mundane things happy and what do I get after? So this reward process makes me enjoy the labor work that I've done and the scent so you can move on to your next mature to-do task. My son's finished a Pedialyte Advanced Care with Immune Support. Unfortunately, we had a nasty stomach bug this month with the little boots. So whenever he has any kind of sickness, this is my favorite kind of Pedialyte I like to grab for him. It's the Advanced Care with Immune Support. I highly suggest it. The thing that does kind of suck is I noticed last week is pay attention to some of the ingredients because I just couldn't believe it. Like even in this one, because I've looked at all the ingredients, even in this one, it has yellow six in it. No child should be getting yellow six. So, anywho, <laughs> had to speak my mind about it. So I've also finished some pills, my another nature-wise multivitamin and a Prime MD Ceylon cinnamon pills and my magnesium citrate from Vitamin Shop. All right, for my bathroom category, I finished my first Dove Pampering Shea Butter and Vanilla Body Wash. I really enjoy this body wash. This has replaced an all-time favorite for me, which I'm shocked. I do like my Olay one, so it's always good to know what to go back to, but this is just, I like the vanilla scent of this, and this is creamier and thicker. So highly recommend. I finished the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleaning Face Wash. I really, really like this stuff. This is gonna be a repurchase until I find some kind of more natural option than this like drugstore one. I finished the Dr. Kiehl's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution Relax and Relief. I love salt baths, especially since I'm working out way more. They are so needed for those sore, sore muscles. If you're a pure bar girl, oh, by the way, I hit my 50, 50th class last week, but if you're a pure bar girl, they do not stretch you good enough. So you need to make sure you're doing your due diligence to stretch very well at home and take some salt baths to just get those muscles to relax and unease that tension. Good job, family. We've got two butt wipes done. You guys are doing so great. I'm teaching you how to clean your butt boots. Yes, that's right. My husband finished the Old Spice Aluminum Free Wilderness. This one was pretty awesome. I like um, some of the men's sprays. Ooh. Yeah, scent of lavender. Ooh, that one was nice. Now it's gonna be empty. <laughs> oh, honey. Um, okay. Back on track, please. I have also finished the Maui shampoo for, of Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter. This one is so super nice. I like this better than the other kind that I tried. The Heal and Hydrate kind is very nice. I have finished a nail polish remover, 100% acetone. If you do your own nails, I highly suggest 100%, especially if you use glitter, they come off quicker. I finished this Freeman Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals Clay Mask. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to find this, um, girls let me know, but I finished this Freeman mask and I don't know if they're still out there. Last of my bathroom and, you know, body care. This is the Alafia Everyday Shea Body Lotion in Lavender. This stuff comes from Whole Foods. I love this so much, especially right when you get out of the sh shower, pat, 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 dry your skin, keep some moisture on there and rub it with lotion. Your skin just thanks you so much. But pay attention to what you're buying, guys, because some of these ingredients we should not even be stepping into a contract with. It's unfortunate. 
especially for some of us that are in more adversity than others you kind of have to just take the hit of like I just said like well I gotta give my son yellow six I want him to get you know some immune care so just pay attention make sure you're aware of the things that you love if you don't love them don't keep them near you just go ahead and find new things to evolve into moving on to our next and last category it is the office and makeup category so let's start with the one makeup i've got i finished this covergirl clean fresh skincare priming glow mist really really like this as the primer to set and to set so this is a definite repurchase it's already sitting in my vanity so if you guys are interested in some kind of new mist of some sorts i would check this one out the office part is on my command center i'm out of these pink and orange expo dry erase markers i gotta hit up office max or staples and get me some new some more markers for my command center and my son's finished his first glue stick just wanted to mention it it was a keeper for me because my goodness he loves his arts and crafts all right and that is the end of my june empties i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what are your empties for the month what did you see yourself consume the most and i'm wondering if it's coffee like me right mama <laughs> Bye guys.